I'm going to show you is how to tie up the raisin minnow. It's a very simple fly. Uh, what you want to do is start out with building your base. Uh, how we do that is we take our thread. In this case, it's 3 aught wax. Um, we're going to take it and build it on back to about where the thread starts hitting the point and then come back forward here um, really quick. Next, you're going to take your eye. Uh, the eye that I'm using for this particular one today is a medium lead eye, uh, which you can use D chain, mono, uh, really any type of eye that you'd like to use for this. Um, so I'm going to tie that in by figure eight. And uh, one thing that I do like to do on mine, uh, once I get them in, they're fairly good. I like to wrap them underneath um, and actually lock those figure eights in. Uh, just by like going up and down around underneath the eye here. Uh, I feel like that holds the eye in straight and really good for me. Um, since smallmouth are pretty voracious eaters. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to take your rabbit sunker. Um, this is your smaller rabbit sunker, not your large uh, quarter inch or half inch thick uh, rabbit sunker. Um, actually taken and shaven uh, a lot of the hair off of the hide itself. Uh, the reason we do that is so they have more, that way it cinches down a little tighter. But what we're going to do <coughs> is you want to take the rabbit and put it on the eye upside down. What we're going to do is actually wrap it in nice and tight to the eye a couple times just to get it in there for you. Okay. Now, next you want to actually pull it a little bit and then fold it over and lay it down on the hook like so. And then you're going to take the thread and then tie it nice and tight now. These are extremely tight wraps. Uh, if you need to, do a little straightening and you want to actually shove it up into the, the, uh, the V or the Y in the eye there. And then cinch that down really, really tight. Next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put our uh, top coat of our hair on. Um, I'm actually using a synthetic material called ET Fibers. Uh, this is their white or their pearl. Uh, will work as well, but I like the white. Um, what you want to do is you're going to put it on just like you do your fuzzers. Uh, you're going to wrap the hair on to the nose of it. And pull it tight. And we're going to wrap this on in. And I actually like to take the white and come behind it and pull it tight. Uh, what that does is kind of kick uh, the fiber up a little bit. Um, that way it's up off of the rabbit zonker strip. I'll come back up. Uh, if you have any fibers out into the head area, go ahead and trim those up as well at this time. Um, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to flip the fly. Run over here. And we're going to, this way we can work with our other colors that we're going to be using here for this. Uh, the next thing I'm going to take is my flash of blue on my accent. Uh, in this case, it's going to be black. I'm going to use a fairly heavy uh, lateral line on this fly. Um, so I'm going to want about seven or eight strands uh, for this. Cut it about two times the length of the fly. Uh, what you're going to do is you're actually going to take the flash of or the accent, whatever you choose to use, and wrap it around the thread. That way it's hooked onto the thread just like that. You're going to bring it down. Put it where you want it, and actually make sure that's nice and flat. I'm going to wrap it on twice, and just kind of cover it up a little bit, just like so. Okay. And I will split it on the hook, that way it goes on the side nice and neat. And that way it just looks nice and pretty when I'm done. Uh, next thing I'm going to take is the olive color. Uh, this is also EP fiber as well. It's a uh, 3D uh, color type material. Uh, the olive has a little bit of golden olive, green olive um, to it as well. Uh, so depending on the light, it will actually change. Uh, and the water conditions get a little bit of shine, um, which helps you get a little color if the water having that little bit of shine does help catch more fish. Uh, once you straighten up that and you get it ready to go on, you're going to do it the same way that you do your flowers. I like to start a little bit out past the eye, do a couple loose laps, uh, wraps to get it in there. 
pull it straight, and then you're actually going to take your fingers and pull it back little by little. What it's going to do is help get some of those fibers out of the eye, which is also helpful with, uh, with uh, deer hair or any other uh, time material if you want it to go nice and tight to the eye. And then you're going to go ahead and finish it off, uh, just like you do your clousers or any other streamer where you got to have a head. Uh, um, so I like to build mine up a little bit. Um, really nice and tight wraps on it. Uh, to finish it off, you're actually going to use your whip finish tool, or if you can do it by hand, go ahead and do it by hand. Um, I tend to break my thread too often, so I prefer to use the tool. Uh, go ahead and just finish it off with your knots here. And you're good to go. Um, I like to do um, two whip finishes on mine. Personal preference, some guys will do one, some guys will do two, some guys will even do three. Uh, just go ahead and finish it off. Go ahead and trim your thread. Like so. um, next, you want to take a head cement, zap the gap, whatever type of glue you want to use, uh, just to make sure it all stays on there. I'm actually using Maloon uh, head cement. And I'll actually take it and just brush it onto the thread and the threaded area on uh, both sides. And let it dry. And before it's dry, I will take a needle tool and actually place it down inside the eye. Um, move it around. And that way, you have a nice clean place to actually tie your hook into. Um, if you have to, go ahead and trim off anything that would be in the way. Um, so that generally is good enough to just make sure you can get your line in there. And there you go. That is the raisin minnow. Very simple, very, very effective line. Um, this is actually made to imitate a certain type of shiner we have on the raisin uh, in the summer months. Uh, it tends to have a very strong hollow back and a very distinctive black line. Uh, but I've also seen that this does mimic a emerald shiner as well fairly well. Uh, so it works great on white bass during the spring run. Uh, so I hope this helps you and I hope you uh, have good luck with the fly. Good luck.